on that done make it quicker is because Helen's telling me there's loads of dogs coming uh, we're back in one of our usual hunts we're doing a week of mooching around off grid um, we're popped up at the old railway sidings at Marsden uh, which is free for 72 hours uh, and we're just walking the Huddersfield Narrow Canal down to Huddersfield and we're at Bridge 30, uh, oh, I should say Lock, Lock 37, 37 which was sponsored and repaired by funding from Blue Peter. Blue Peter but you'll probably see some great views of the lock as we come along uh, and we will uh, just have it as we wander down Huddersfield is full of wonderful old buildings um, and you might get to see a few of them and maybe a brewery mm. Mm.
Well, morning everyone. It's Bank Holiday Monday, end of August. Uh, we're at Marsden and yesterday we walked eight and a bit miles into Huddersfield and then caught the train back. But today we're walking up Wissenden Valley. Out into the countryside. Yeah, uh, we were at the top last year at a similar time maybe a few weeks earlier when it was also hot and we walked a little bit and uh, there was some footage from 2021 filmed at the top but we started at the Marsden end and yeah the reservoirs as you can empty. see are uh, yeah quite empty the middle one's full and the bottom one is also very very low but they but, are doing some work on it though so maybe they've drained it uh, yeah but it's probably also the drought mm. um, but I'm going to put the drone up again uh, and get a view from here. I might get, try and get some shots right along the valley. So it is uh, absolutely gorgeous up here. Isn't it, it is, yeah. Uh, a little bit of breeze today, which is very unusual. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit cooler than it has been. And uh, yeah, it's nice, a bit cloudy. But yeah, it's about 18, 19, maybe even 20. Mm. I don't know. It's warm enough to be in t shirt and shorts. But let's get, it, uh, get the drone up and go and have a look. of wild beasts crossing the bridge. Oh, I've got kitten legs coming down there. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was a bit of a scary, well, not scary, but yeah, it was scary descent. You just go fast. Yeah, well, I don't, I'm scared of falling over. <laughs> you bounce back up. <laughs> well. A short while ago, I watched uh, one of my favourite urban exploring YouTubers, a guy called Martin Zero, who does a lot of work around Manchester and the North West. And he came out here, uh, right below our feet is Stanage Tunnel. It's the longest, deepest canal tunnel in the United Kingdom. And there are railway tunnels around it. And just on that hill, what you can see, is two air shafts. As a, it brings it up. Over here is Redmire Pumping House, which they used to do a lot of work for dragging the, the uh, stone back up and help with ventilation. And just beyond that is another capped uh, ventilation. But what I've come to look at, if I can zoom back out, is this feature. This is allegedly, it's an uncapped partial shaft. Uh, I don't want to get too close to it. Uh, it does look like it's fairly solid uh, and it's partially filled in. But you can imagine in the winter when they came, this was full of water. But that could possibly be several hundred feet deep with just a small layer of earth on it. 
I've saw since I saw his video, I always wanted to come out and find it. Because they wondered how deep it was, because I say it was full of water when they came. But it's not today. that you see every day, two very low-flying Apache gunships. The internet of his day and canal mania sweep the, in the country. They were building canals all over the place. So in regard to 1790s, in the 1790s, the mill owners of Huddersfield and Halifax already had canals that went east, but they wanted their own. We don't go into any of the bare rock sections today, they're uh, further into the tunnel, but you'll better get you'll get an idea further in what it must what it's like. Yep. There are in fact lots of different materials used within the tunnel through the through this construction. There's lots of uh, bits can fall down. Now this Jack Archie, there's a couple of stories here, one being that uh, you can see that because it's nice tunnel is already here. So they could use this tunnel to take all the spoil away in barges. There are 36 connections which are running out to this day uh, draining those tunnels. Well, what you've just seen was some footage of Stanage Canal. Uh, it's the longest, highest and deepest railway canal in the country. Um, it was fully opened in 2001 after being shut in the late 1940s. Uh, it originally dates from the 1700s. It was supposed to have been took five years to open but it actually took 17 years of very hard work by the navvies who it did say that many were Irish but it also said that Due to difficulties in the coaling industry, many came from Wales. But I've been in this area and I've lived in this area for nearly 23 years, 24 years. And I've never been in. So that was an educational delight for me. Uh, knowing what my past profession is as a train driver, I had been in the tunnels above the, rail, uh, the canal tunnel. And uh, yeah, very, very different. Places I recognised and from the railway side of things I could actually see from the lower level but it was good and they're just now having a look got our little visitor with us again and they're looking at the honeybees ah oh, look at that